Hello there, this is for Further Maths. This is uh, looking at statistics for the first time in Year 12 Further Maths. And um, a bit weirdly, we're going to look at two exercises together. Now that's because I think this is quite straightforward. Um, and I want to get, I suppose, onto the harder stuff, which can be very difficult. Um, quicker than otherwise we would have done. So we're going to look at exercise 1a and 1g. It involves the product principle, the addition principle, and a variety of different ways to make arrangements. Um, and let's uh, have a look at that then. So it says uh, a little starter. We saw this on the on the uh, opening slide. There's um, a, a kids cafe, and under the kids menu, they've got to choose a protein. They've got to choose one fruit. And I should point out that um, the fruit is uh, the apple slices or the watermelon. And it says you've also got to choose a veggie, and that's presumably the uh, the carrot or the cucumber. So. Just bear that in mind, you need a, one protein, you need one fruit, one veggie, you need a side dish, um, seems to be four of those, and then choose a drink as well, and there's options there. So I'm going to pause the video and I want you to calculate how many different ways you think uh, any child coming up could make their choices. I don't want you to write them all down, just how many different ways are there. Okay, so um, I'm hoping you've done that. So this is the idea. So there, are, I think there are four different things you could choose if you want a protein. So four different ways of doing that. Now you've got to choose one fruit and there's two of those. And there's one veggie required from these two. So again, there's two different ways you could choose it. And I suppose it's what to do with these numbers as we go through. I'll come to that in a bit. Some, um, choose a side dish. There's four different side dishes. And choose a drink. There seems to be three different drinks you can choose. Um, yeah. So the critical thing is you times these numbers together. It's called the product principle. And four times, well, two times two is four, so that's 16. Times by four is 64. Times by three is 192. 192 different ways. Yes, 192 different ways of choosing this. Um, and they took advantage of what we call the product principle. And that's the number of things that can happen if you're choosing two different events, A and B. Um, is equal to the number of things in A times by the number of things in B. We've just used that rule. Um, if you can perhaps write that down. And there's an addition pro principle as well. And it comes back to this idea of what we've seen in probability as well. The number of ways of A or B happening, if they are mutually exclusive, is the number of ways of A can happen plus the number of ways that B can happen. And I suppose we just need to see a few examples. Um, you've seen one already. It comes up with GCSE to this. Um, so it's two simple rules. So here's an exam question. Uh, an example, sorry. An exam has 10 questions in section A and 4 and B. Okay, fair enough. How many different ways are there to choose the questions if you must choose one from each section? Well, one from each section. Presumably I've got 10 in the first section, 4 in the second section. It's just the product principle. I think there's 40 ways of doing it. That's it. One question from either A or B. Well, notice it's only one question now from either A or B. So we said if it was an or, you just add them together. So I think it's 10 plus 4 is 14. So if it's an or, you add. If it's um, this section and this section, if it's an and, you times. 14, 14. Yes, we got those right. Factorials. Now, I need to show you this notation. Um, five, this is called five factorial. So, five factorial means five times four times three times two times one. And if you type that into your calculator, you get 120. There's actually a, a factorial button on your calculator. I'm looking at the uh, calculator now, the uh, Casio class whiz, and it is above the x to the minus one button in the middle of the um, keyboard and above it it goes x factorial there so you have to press the shift button and then you can press this button and then you'll get it up so you can type 5 factorial press equals and it will say 120 so you can work it out either I mean to be honest we can just do this one times two times three times four that's really all I'm doing add it, times them together you get 24 six factorial well, you just do. It doesn't matter which way around you do it. Obviously, 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 is kind of the opposite way around to what I did this. Well, do it the other way around if you, if you want. I'm not really fussed. As long as you know what it means. If you do that, I reckon 
that's really just six times what we had before, so that's 720. Type this one into your calculator. Type this one into your calculator, see what you get. I'm going to pause the video now, and you might be surprised. Were you surprised? I don't imagine, many, unless you've seen this before, I don't imagine many of you will be expecting to see the answer 1. 0 factorial is 1. Um, why it's 1 is another story, I suppose, but um, it does help that definition of what 0 factorial helps us later on. So I'm happy to go along with it. So 0 factorial is 1. Um, how many different ways are there of arranging 7 letters? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So I've suggested one way is B, C. Are they all different letters? Here they are. I've said B, C, D, A, G, E, F is one particular arrangement. Um, how could you do this? You would, certainly wouldn't want to list them all. Um, here's my trick. Uh, there are seven letters. If I put my first letter, my second letter, I'm going to have these boxes into which we will decide how many different ways there are of putting my letters. Now, my very first letter, I've got nothing chosen so far. I could put seven different letters into there. Now, once I've chosen it, say, well, say it was the B. So B is gone. Um, how many letters I've got for my second one? Well, there's obviously six ways. So that was the C. So C is gone. Um, how many ways are there now? Well, five ways. And you quickly realise it just goes down each time until eventually you've got no choice at all. You've got to choose that one. This is the product principle. So I just times all those together. And you quickly realise actually what I've just found is 7 factorial. Um, what is 7 factorial? Well, presumably it's this answer here, 5040. Um, we got this right, we got this right, we got this right. So, um, good. Notice how factorial notation actually is useful when you answer certain types of questions. Uh, arranging letters in a word. This is quite a common exam question, actually. It comes up more than you ex probably would expect to. C. So I've got this example here, and I've said, calculate the number of different arrangements of the letters of these words. So make sure you make good notes of this, because um, it certainly comes up enough to warrant making sure you're good at it. So I've got the word spinach. S-P-I-N-A-C-H. Well, it's the same as what we just did. We just had, how many letters are there? There's three, there's six, there's seven. Seven letters. Um, so presumably, this is just seven factorial, which I think was 5,040. Yes, it was. Um, so it looks on the face of it. As these are all dead easy. Ah, not quite. Notice this. Carrot. You'll notice there's two R's. And so the big question is, is how do you deal with it? First of all, there's six letters. But there are two letters which are repeated. And because of the repeated letters, it's not just six factorial. Because some of these words would be the same. Because I've got two R's and I could have them either way around. I wouldn't be able to spot the difference. So the, this is what you do. You take your six factorial and you divide by that two factorial. So six factorial divided by two factorial. Apparently it's 306. Yes, it was because six factorial was 720. And two factorial was two. Next word is vegetables. Vegetables. So how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's ten initially. So that's ten factorial, obviously. Ah, there's some little letters which are repeated. Oh, it's got three there. Look at that. I've got an E three times. Now is that the only one that's repeated? It does seem to be. Look, I'm going to divide by three factorial. Have I got anything else which is repeated? I don't think it is. I think that's it. So I think 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial, and apparently that's the answer. Type it in, just check and make sure you agree. Now, how do you do with, deal with cabbage? What's the problem with ah, cabbage? Look, there's two B's and there's two A's. And we've got to deal with that, I suppose. There are four, seven letters, so seven factorial. What do you divide by? Well, you divide by the fact you've got two A's. And you divide by the fact you've got two A's. Now, that's it. It means it's a times on the bottom as well. So it's seven factorial divided by... And you put it in your calculator properly, it's 2 factorial times 2 factorial. What's that equal? It equals 1,260. And we've got this last one, asparagus. Oh, don't we all love asparagus? Personally, not much, but there you go. Asparagus. Uh, how many letters? We've got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 factorial. And what are we going to divide by? And Well, we've got 3 A's, so we're going to divide by 3 factorial. Um, oh, it look like I've got 2 S's as well. So I'm going to divide by 2 factorial. 
I'm hoping that's it because I can't see anything else. Good, yes it was. 9 factorial divided by 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial. And according to me, when I last did it, it was 30,240. You can see why I don't want you to write out all the different spellings of these words. Um, that would take a while to write out. Um, okay, uh, perhaps you can do these then. How many arrangements are there of these letters in these words? So pause the video and uh, then come back. Okay. Um, I'm hoping you've done three questions. Uh, movie, adventure and statistics. My answers were 120, just simply 5 factorial, no repeats. Um, 181,000, that's a lot. 9 factorial divided by 2 factorial. 9 letters divided by the 2 E's. And statistics seems to be 10 letters, but you've got um, 3 S's, you've got 3 T's and 2 I's. So that's how you do it. Okay. It's quite a nice question, I'll be honest. I quite like those. You get good at doing them, and you just make sure you're good at doing them. And uh, that's exercise 1A and exercise 1G that we're going to try to quickly whip through in class and make sure we get good at those. So um, thank you very much.